Hi everyone, uh, just making a really quick video about fixing my Spectrum Plus 2. Uh, the PSU developed a fault, um, probably something to do with me trying to fit a switch to it. And um, it sent the voltage everywhere all over the Spectrum when I plugged the interface in the back. And uh, yeah, I think I fried my RAM because when I turn the Spectrum on, I get a nice colourful purple border, then I get nothing, nothing at all. So that indicates that that's a RAM fault. So I just thought I'd change my chips over and video it at the same time. Uh, the best way of diagnosing this is um, when you got the black screen like this on a plus 2A. I think what you can do, whoops, you can touch your RAM, which are these ones down here. That's nice and cool, that's nice and cool. That one is hot. That one is hot, H-O-T, hot. So swapping those chips over should eliminate the problem. So let's turn it off. Okay, like that. And the chips that I got, I ordered from um, a chap in Holland that I bought my divide interface from, a very good service. And uh, these chips here are not very well focused, but they are 4146C-10 chips. And we're going to swap over the AMS X4 chips, times 4 chips in the in the RAM set. Yeah, I know my juice is not going through them now because they're actually cooling down, but they're quite hot. I think these two could still work, but I'm not going to start jerking around with that. I've got my little stand made of Lego here, so... If I just put that in there like so and move, okay. Now the other thing I've done is take the chips out. Everyone's got an old screwdriver, watch make a screwdriver, but I've actually put a bit of heat shrink on that, um, which will give me a little bit of protection. I know it's not ideal. Uh, I don't have a chip puller, but I'm going to give this a go and swap the chips over with this. So let's see how well we do. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this here. Hope you got a nice shot of my hand. You've got to be very careful not to bend the legs out, or if you do bend them out, make sure they bend back in in the DILs when you if you're using them again. It might be a good idea not to wear nylon when you're doing this as well. That one there, see I've bent the leg out there. Got to be a bit careful with this. Slowly monkey cat. And then lastly this one here. There we go. Super job. Let's put these four in. Remember to put them in the right way around. So we're going to put these guys in now. And the, sometimes the legs are flared out slightly on a brand new chip, so it's always best not to not to force them straight in because they could be slightly out of line. There you are, that made a lovely noise. So they flare out sometimes, so sometimes it's best to get one side in and just slowly push the other side in on that. And if this works, I promise never to. Mess around my power supply ever again. Tried putting an on off switch on it. Should have done it at the plug, but thought I could get away with uh, putting a switch inside the spectrum on my other one. And I blew the power pack. So hopefully, this will all go now. If not, we've got a fireworks display. On YouTube. So it's a black screen and hot chips. Not hot chips for tea. Not happy with that one. Well, it seems to have gone in. 
Here we go. Ooh, well. Let's check them again. They're well seated. Got to be pushed in nicely. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let me turn this on. How about that? Right, we can do a RAM test on it now. Let me just put you back in there a sec. Put you back there. Put the keyboard back on. Okay. So we've got our spectrum back. Obviously I'll connect the LED up when I'm screw it back up again, so that's all working. And we can do a quick round test on it now, and we do that by holding in the reset button to get the spectrum bars up and holding down brake. And then if you hold down Q A Z P L M we can test going. Okay. How am I going to do this then? Right, I'm going to hold them down, alright? You stay there. There we go. So, let's do the RAM test on this. Take care, you have been warned. Okay. That's testing my RAMs. And now tell me if they're all okay. Yeah, excellent. That's going to do the rest of the test now. Yep, I heard all them. There you go, you see. There you go, so a job well done, but let's promise not to bugger around with the power supply unit ever again. Thanks very much guys, bye bye.